the 60s were a time of chaos and war for many. The Vietnam War was in full swing, and many believed that peace was not possible in fighting for civil rights. There was one very powerful and legendary civil rights leader, however, who proved this to be wrong. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Dr. King not only influenced civil rights by helping to establish the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965, but also played a major role in speaking out against the immorality of the Vietnam War and influencing others that peace was a much more powerful tool than war. Martin Luther King delivered his speech, Beyond Vietnam, A Time to Break Silence, on April 4, 1967. This was a persuasive speech as it attempted to persuade Americans to speak out against the war, but to do it in a peaceful way. Dr. King wanted to convey the point that silence is betrayal, and quotes that, even when pressed by the demands of the inner truth, men do not easily assume the task of opposing their government's policy, especially in times of war. But then challenges his audience to break the silence and go against what society has told them to do. Dr. King was speaking at Riverside Church and gained credibility by stating that, over the last eight years, I have had the privilege of preaching here almost every year in that period, and it is always a great privilege and rewarding experience to come to this great church and this great pulpit. Because he has spoken at this particular place before, the audience most likely knows him as a speaker and is more likely to listen to what he has to say. Furthermore, Dr. King speaks with confidence and clarity, and because he is confident, the audience is also confident in him. His dramatic use of facial expressions also helps to get the audience pumped up and passionate about his speech. And those are some examples of how he used dramatic facial expressions and enthusiasm. Um, Dr. King uses several examples of figurative language when delivering his speech. One example is his use of metaphor when he states, and some of us who have already begun to break the silence of the night have found that the calling to speak is often a vocation of agony, but we must speak. We must speak with all the humility that is appropriate to our limited vision, but we must speak. Dr. King compares speaking out against the war as breaking the silence of the night in order to show how unspoken of unpopular his views were. He also uses the repetition of we must speak in order to play on the emotions of the audience and motivate them to want to cause a change. He also uses another metaphor, we can no longer afford to worship the god of hate or bow before the altar of retaliation in order to show the audience how damaging it is to fight hate with more hate. Dr. King uses personification when he says, if America's soul becomes totally poisoned, part of the autopsy must read Vietnam. This is a powerful quote because it shows how desensitized America has become to the war and violence, and Dr. King wants to emphasize to his audience just how wrong it is for Americans to be fighting the war in Vietnam. Dr. King ends his speech by using a quote from the Bible. Justice will roll down like waters, and righteousness, righteousness like a mighty stream. By quoting this, Dr. King appeals to his audience of churchgoers and effectively uses this biblical reference to show how powerful one's voice can be if they use it to make a positive change. In conclusion, Dr. King wanted to show everyone that love is a more powerful tool than war, and after all of the breakthroughs that he made in the area of civil rights and justice for all, appears that he was right. Dr. King inspired multitudes of people through his powerful language and passion.